All right, we're back here in the bearded garage. All right, so uh, we are finally getting back to the lift. If you can take a look, we got everything here on the table, um, ready to go. Um, we got the lift uh, today. Uh, it is the Max Jack M6K. We are gonna try laying this puppy out to start. Um, actually, it's relatively uh, simple, it looks. So let's see if we can switch the camera. So what we're gonna be trying here is uh, that's pretty much representative of the garage I got here. Um, so the goal, uh, what they tell you in the manual is you take, uh, measure out your cars and actually take the longest one. So I didn't measure out the, the portions of the Camry, right? Cause, um, cause frankly, it doesn't really matter on those because they're so short. So longest is actually a Tundra. So I rounded up to 230 divided by two plus three feet of workbench, um, which I think gives me about 130 inches apart. So. What I looked at is the outside of the base. So the base of these bad boys right here means 130 inches apart to the outside, uh, 14 feet, six inches from the front wall. Now, as you can probably see, I got a lot of bunch of shit in the garage. So uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I got these placed what looks like where I need them. Um, it actually looks like it'll work pretty well. I have enough, uh, I have enough clearance here to, uh, to walk around i can actually get in and out of there that's a cart on wheels so i can move that around so first thing i'm going to do today is i am going to pull this girl out i am going to back it in because i've actually never work on it like this i'd actually flip it around so you know with the engine in the rear um i want that up by the tool bench where it's got all the all the tools so uh, so i'm going to back it out i'm going to try it i'm going to put it in place um even though i trust measurements i'm also going to turn around i'm going to pull the cars in here i'm going to pull a a van in here and see if the van's gonna fit as well. Um, there's actually quite a bit of room in front, but I'm guessing once I put a van in here, you know, I want a, a, enough to be able to walk around, but not too much. Um, so I can actually still hopefully use this bay for the other girl in the in the winter time. Um, so I wanna be able to work on this guy, work on this girl, and then park one right behind it. So, all right, so stay tuned. We're gonna pull this out. Um, we are gonna try doing some, some, this is just laying it out. I'm uh, gonna lay it out, snap it on the floor. Uh, and then we will drill some holes, install it, and hopefully lift this thing um, pretty soon. All right, stay tuned. All right, we are in the 97 993. That's a Porsche 993. So one of the cars with the sexiest asses ever made. All right, so uh, real quick, gotta give a nod to, uh, to uh, the, the ignition on the left-hand side. That's still awesome, still a huge fan. So I'll, nod to the um the Le Mans history hey so the reason i actually uh got in the car uh you guys don't need to be backing up a car but hey i put this on the steering wheel of uh, any car that i have in my garage that's actually plugged into a trickle charger um so i use one of those noco genius uh trickle chargers and and i'll tell you the first time you drive away with one connected still and you rip the connector apart or mess up the front of the car you'll learn real quick that it's great to have those so uh yeah learn from my mistake so, uh, real quick, it hasn't been started in a while. It's alive! <laughs> Alright, so the car is backed in. Uh, just giving a real quick walk around. Looks like we have still quite a bit of room. Probably won't be walking on this side way more than I need back here, but uh, kind of the the key to this is this engine is gonna be coming out and I want a parts table here. So, or somewhere around here, or maybe just right there. But I want enough uh, tool carts that I don't have to worry about grabbing stuff. So looks like this is lined up pretty well with the center of the car. Um, yeah, so looking good. All right, now we got the A-Team van in here. Uh, we wanna see do a little walk around here as well. I parked a little cockamamie, but I think you get the idea. Um, it looks to me, actually it looks to me what's interesting is, I think, after doing the math, even though what math tells me, I have five feet, five inches to the front, which is which is nice, but I think it's a little too much. Um, that means the, the Porsche is, uh, is actually quite a ways back as well. So I'm gonna move these jacks a foot closer so I give myself four feet four inches which I think is plenty um, did a little height measurements looks like I can still actually get the full lift on a van which is uh, just over 50 inches with all the extensions 
um, so I can still get this up 50 inches and, and work underneath it, which would be absolutely fantastic. So I think that is about it for now. All right, this is the anchor installation. Uh, from the top of the anchor to the bottom of the washer, you want 5 eighths of an inch as, uh, as they specify in the manual. Um, set this down in the hole. Uh, grab yourself a five pound sledge or something larger if you have. You wanna hold this nut because what'll happen is it'll turn as you're hitting it. Uh, you wanna set it right down on top of your washer. Now that it's all the way flush, you're going to put your ratchet on and you're going to crank this nut here to pull the bottom of that anchor up. Now, you can use a substantially smaller one, but I found that the leverage is a little bit easier with a big crescent wrench. And the goal pull this anchor up to about an eighth, maybe a quarter of an inch from the top of the concrete. So it's not flush, but it's just below. Should be about it. Nice thing is you can undo it, take a look at what you got, and adjust if you need, once you've already made it tight. All right, that one's still a little bit low. I'll crank it back up and show you what it looks like. All right, now looking at these anchors, you can take a look. See, that's only about uh, an eighth of inch below right there. All right, they're all slightly different heights. All right, that one's actually my lowest. It's probably a quarter, but they will all work the way they are. So the key to doing this, um, I drill these holes. Don't let your drill wobble. All right, I use this big 7 8 inch Bosch. Uh, drill bit with a uh, Milwaukee, I think that's an SDS, uh, their rotary hammer. Um, uh, vacuum them out. Uh, you know, it says minimum four inches of concrete. I think I went down, I uh, put a tape on that said five inches down. So I got to five, between five and six inches of concrete here. Put some tape on it, ran it all the way down. That thing, uh, that thing hogged it out pretty quick, pretty fast. Uh, vacuum it out. I actually found out vacuuming while air compressing was actually the quickest way to get everything out. Um, and now we just put the post in place. All 
All right, the last thing to do here um, before we um, get going is actually fill this thing up with um, with some uh, some hydraulic oil. So went down to the local auto parts store, maybe Auto Zone, I think, and we picked up some ISO AW32. Um, it's about fifteen dollars a fifteen dollars. What is this? A gallon? Uh, it's going to take almost two full gallons in there. It says it takes about seven quarts, so um, it's going to be just over that. We have about seven and a half here when we're done. Uh, I'm going to fill it up. I'm going to connect it, I'm going to turn it on, and then we're going to try, uh, you got to bleed it, just like you'd bleed a set of brakes right at the top of the cylinder here, so uh, stay tuned as I, as I go through that. Alright, so uh, looks like the last step we're going to try to lift this damn thing, so let's see if we get this girl off the ground. Um, here's what we had to do. Looks like if you've got a 993, which is anything from 95 to 98, 94 to 98, um, looks like I had to pull it up on um, two by sixes in order to have it high enough to get the arms underneath. But uh, I have since taken a look here, and uh, I can see. We're just gonna give this guy a try and see what happens. Right? Ready? So we're gonna walk around, make sure everything is safe. Pencil these things are engaged. Safety's engaged, right? So down is allowing it to lock and snap on the way up. Keep going, ready? So you hear a click on the way up. Walk around quick and take a look. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is the uh, this is the last part of this video. Uh, I want to tell you what I actually learned about putting this lift together um, and, uh, and actually lift in a car. Uh, the first thing um, is the manual is actually wrong. So they got the manual uh, two different spots. I'll actually screenshot what I was able to find online. The manual that shipped with this um, was not the same as the one that um, I could find online. I could find some uh, from some different pieces online. And in any case, um, two things that differed and, and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna show you what those are here. Uh, this particular unit on top of the um, on the top of the pump uh, I'll even screenshot a section of the manual that I found so one fascinating piece is these the, the key is the two the two that say out actually go out to the actual posts themselves and um, if you look in the manual it actually talks about this is supposed to be on the other side um, if you find the new manual, one of the things you'll find is it says, oh, well, unless there's something like this, and then you can pump it on this side, so. Um, lucky I found that online, so I'm not the first person to have run into that. The second is actually these locking mechanisms on the posts themselves. So, there is absolutely zero instructions on how to install it, which I thought was kind of odd. Um, it makes sense, and I actually was able to put it in pretty easy. Um, you've got a pin here, you've got this, uh, I don't know what the hell this is, cotter pin, I guess, to, to hold it together. Um, you've got two uh, springs so that this can actually go back and forth. Uh, the whole goal is um, when it's going up, this piece here bounces in and out and, and will actually catch on the um, on the rails. So um, as you go up, you hear ka clunk, ka clunk, ka clunk as it hits, um, and then you lower it back down and you're setting it on this, this metal bar here. So, um, pretty simple, actually uh, really simple in the long run, but 
just a couple of really uh, odd things I ran into. Nothing was, uh, the instructions weren't great, uh, but you know, hey, I got a lift. I can lift my car. She's, uh, uh, so next thing I guess is, uh, I think we're gonna take the engine out. I think we're gonna start big, all right? All right, stay tuned. I haven't tried any gratuitous plugs before, but if you, uh, if you like the video, if you wanna see more uh, Porsche work, um, like and subscribe. Thanks.